plants. That's what we're looking at, folks. A small little garden back here. So, lovely to see. Now, there's a question of good, evil, perversity, righteousness involved in all of this right here. Okay. The uh, Pope, on his trip to Mexico recently, made a statement about these plants. We must do whatever is possible to combat the destructive evil against humanity and our youth. Another quote. It is the responsibility of the Church to educate consciences to teach moral responsibility and to unmask the evil, to unmask this idolatry of money which enslaves man, to unmask the false promises, the lies, the fraud that is behind drugs. All right, Benedict. Me, old friend, now you say that what I'm about to do right here is evil. And you want to unmask the lies. Okay, I am going to water some plants. And I submit your unholiness on the subject that you are the one deceived. Okay, now drugs, just for the record, comes from the Dutch word druge, barrel, which carried medicines, medicines which are good for ailments, hopefully. You drugs are legal, you like your beer, a couple of beers, whenever, it's legal. That's a drug, my friend, okay? But now the drugs of poor people apparently are illegal. This is a plant that starts at the beginning again, a God-given gift in the garden. I am going to water the plants. Folks watching this decide for yourselves, is this evil or is this good, okay? And while I'm doing it, I will be smoking my pipe, and what is in my pipe is what comes from those plants. All right, about to do something very normal and natural, that a child could see is innocent. The emperor is wearing no clothes, is the story. Take off your blinders, folks. All the madness behind these beautiful God-given gifts. Okay, watering plants. Here we go. Okay, now, Pope, I hope some of you, your followers, whoever, it doesn't matter. The question is the same as it was with Galileo. Okay, this is a question of science versus authoritarianism. Still condemning Galileo. And that is a video, it's on YouTube, it can be arrived at through uh, a link on Bard, B A R D, B A R T, Bard, Bart.com. Okay, so all that's being spoken here, there are links to back it up. Scholarship. We're talking about scholarship versus ignorance. The Pope is ignorant as hell on the subject. Okay, these are plants that's in, I got you know, just Genesis. They were given for us, for our good, for our health and well-being. Comes out of Mexico. A gift from Our Lady of Guadalupe. You ain't in touch, Pope Benny, okay? Let us say a few more here, Marys. Okay, we're going to switch it around. Okay, one person operation right here, folks, in the flesh anyway. Here we go. So now, you saw for yourself and you can make up your own minds about what it is. Here's a poem. Trying to get the best light going around here. Evening light, twilight. So, here we go. That's better. On the subject. Oh, just for the record. Okay, it was in the pipe, comes from those plants right there, you just saw me water. Give it the old acid test, right? Excuse me. Check my notes. Exit drug. Here's the lie exposed. This is constantly referred to as an entrance drug to hard drugs. This homeboy knows about hard drugs. 
Member of the CIA. That's right, former member actually. Catholic, Irish and alcoholic. This is my cure. I can take a couple of drinks now. A couple of drinks. This was a guy who was intoxicated just day and night. This is now my intoxicant. The right to self-medication. The right that was taken away by chauvinistic males because of women's sexuality. Now, racism as well, but the, the sexism is the one that's ignored, okay? There's this guy, Reiner Man, and he writes about the way the drug laws came down in the U.S. and then exported worldwide, which is cultural imperialism, and everybody in their pathetic ignorance going along with that. Okay? So, against the male chauvinists, with a male trinity, all male trinity, males begetting males, yet condemning homosexuality. Insanity. Okay? So let's get real. The female principle is the Holy Spirit. Now that removes the disorder. Homeboys took a wrong turn in Greece. They got the fucking message messed up because women couldn't be conceived of as being on an equal footing as men spiritually. That's what these folks who are male chauvinists in the Roman Catholic Church, Roman now, mostly Italian, very tribalistic if you ask me, when it's just one, you know, constantly one group. That doesn't mean there haven't been good folks coming out of there. But, you know, given the way it's going, a lot of folks just, to, you know, involved with the institution of the church. Uh-uh, we're for the real Christ, not the... Not the GE version of reality. GE, you know, the crowd that uh, has the image of when the Native Americans uh, saw the Europeans coming over here and settling down in their lands. Well, they just got up and left and moved west. No. <laughs> and that's the kind of spin we have on this so-called drug war, which is drug prohibition. Here's the poem. Religious Experience. You all be speaking theologically, not thinking. Presumption be on your part, lacking discernment cause of spiritual pride. Old age of justice without the temper of mercy. Rules and regulation religion offering nothing new except the same old witch hunts. Hypocrites crying about religious persecution elsewhere while doing the same here in good old U.S. of A. Partaking of herb is a religious experience. To believe blindly otherwise is the usual damnable ignorance. A couple of stories on ignorance, and then wrap it up. One, Pat and Mike, off the boat from the culture I know. And New York City, going back now in days when it was just pick and shovel jobs, hard labor. Homeboys were glad to get a job coming out of the conditions where they were starving in the old side. Famine and all that, created by man's greed, okay? Women's too, we ain't sexist here. So anyway, it was the so-called aristocratic system, pseudo. So what happened, their first job, they're in the square and they're digging the trench, you know, to put down some pipes, make a drain actually. And the other side of the square, there's a big old house, man, a fine place of a mansion, and they notice all these finely dressed women in there and gentlemen coming and going. And after a while, you know, after a few days on the job and a few inquiries, they find out what's going on there because they haven't used to that stuff to carry on, you know. House like that. Ill repute, oh my heavens. Anyway, they're on the job one day and they're digging away and they notice that a minister goes into the house. Well, down with the pick and shovel, Pat looked at Mike and said, by God, Mike, says he, that man is bringing shame on his cloth, isn't he? To be going into a place like that. My God, don't they have any shame at all and fear of God in this country? They blessed themselves, spat in their hands and back to work with the pick and shovel. It wasn't long afterwards that a rabbi came along and went in there. 
And by heavens, the same carry on with the boys down with the pick and shovel, looked at each other, the same comments, the shame he was bringing on his cloth and his people. Back to work. Not too long afterwards, wouldn't you know it now? Didn't the priest come along there and go into the same place? Pat and Mike, down with the pick and shovel, looked at each other, and Pat said to Mike, and by God, Mike says, see, but there must be somebody awful sick in there. That's the kind of cultural tribal ignorance that all groups, including led by the Pope himself, including President and Mrs. Obama, who are authoritarian on the subject. Thank you, we don't need authoritarianism. We have the right to decide for ourselves, the right to self-medication, which was taken away by people who were deciding for women first and foremost and their sexuality. Women weren't allowed to have any sexual feelings, you see. Now, that fucked the whole shit up for all of us and we better get it straight. So choice is what it's about. People have a right to make their own mistakes and learn from them. That's grace. Don't decide for us. We can find out for ourselves. That's our right. Okay, so all the waste of resources, all the perversity of the people who claim to be fiscally conservative. No, you're not. You're for big government if you're for this drug prohibition. You're for lunacy. You're for perversity. Okay, and against righteousness. Your moral theology is based on a lie. It's based on chauvinism. That in itself is a distortion in the spirit, sinful at its, at its order. Okay, so let's get back to the male-female principle and equality, true equality, and deal with the racism and drugs. First, it was against the Chinese opium smokers. It was a uh, different when there was the middle-class folks doing it. But, you know, now, you know, opium and sexuality and white women, and then it came down with the African-Americans. Oh, couldn't have that. And that's when cocaine, it was Negro, cocaine-crazed Negroes dra raping white women. And that's why heroin was, that was 1914 Harrison Tax Act, right? That is the whole story. That's all in the website, right? This is just the basics. 24, then, it was heroin, again directed at African Americans, and the women now were totally excluded, and all poor people, white, working class, doing all the menial work. It was the upper crust, you know, they were deciding in their morality what was right and wrong. Okay? Authoritarianism as against Bill of Rights idea, what America is about. Right to privacy, first and foremost, there's the Fourth Amendment, okay? This is an invasion of privacy. Beautiful evening right here. I'm a poet in a backyard with a small little garden. I'm kicking stories and poetry. That is what a bar does. That's an allegory right there, and that is what Socrates wrote about in Allegory of the Cave. There is more scholarship. People are chained to the wall. That's you, Pope. That's all you religious leaders, all you civil leaders, okay, and all you members of the population. And here's just the religious thing. Stick your fingers in the wound. Here's the old acid test. All right, you got your stories, you got your poems. We're going to close with a tote coming from the sacred herb. Respect our consciences. Okay, it's a two-way street. It ain't just consciences for what you believe in in your ignorance. You need to become enlightened on the subject, all you folks out there. Hope you get it, Benny. All right, we're rooting for you now. It's a Hail Mary job. And you know, you're the one who needs to listen to her, Our Lady of Guadalupe. What's good for poor folks, their medicine. Don't be cooperating on their oppression. And you are. Peace. And these probably will have to be sacrificed. That's what's criminal. Fiscally conservative. Mm -mm. You perverse conservatives. You conserve in perversity. This is what's illegal. This is what the killing in Mexico is all about. All around the world. Huh? Afghanistan? People learn from their own mistakes. They figure it out. If it was all legal, it's having it illegal is the problem. For a healthy America, Mexico, Ireland, world. Since we're in the U.S. for and it began here with the Jim Crow laws.
this is a plantation mentality, and we're having the folks in the big houses still telling us niggers what to do. Okay? And black people and Latin people cooperating in their own oppression, along with the poor white folks and everybody else who was bought into the bullshit who were also intellectual. Yeah, we'll do it right there, bardbart.com. This one is entitled, Pope Ignorant as Hell on Drugs. Godspeed, Mr.